हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन कोर्स ऑफ मैकेनिकल मेजरमेंट एंड मेट्रोलॉजी माई सेल्फ अभिषेक त्रिवेदी फ्रॉम मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट एट एल जे इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द ब्रीफ कोर्स आउटलाइन ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट देन इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट एंड एप्लीकेशन ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट एस अंडरस्टैंड द मैकेनिकल मेजरमेंट एंड मेट्रोलॉजी नाउ वॉट डू यू मीन बाई मेजरमेंट मेजरमेंट इज अ बेसिक प्रोसेस ऑफ क्वांटिटेटिव कंपेरिजन between the predefined standards and unknown magnitude whereas the metrology that is the science of measurement and which is directly concerned with the establishment reproduction conversion and transfer of the units now first of all we will discuss the basic introduction about the subject the subject code which is provided by the university that is 314901 which is fall under the branch of mechanical engineering in fourth semester the university which provide this subject in the fourth semester that is the gujarat technological university now we will discuss the basic examination scheme of the particular subject this subject contains five credit the five credit in which the four for the theory section and two for the practical session in the theory section there is a exam known as a end semester exam which contains 70 marks and which is taken by the gujarat technological university whereas the progressive assessment which contains the 30 marks which is taken by the institute and in this particular subject we have a practical assessment exam as well in the practical assessment exam we have a v section or we can say the viva section in the end semester which contains the 30 marks and the progressive assessment or we can say the internal practical examination which contains 20 marks so if we are going to sum up all the marks then the total subject marks which is 150 which is provided by the university now we are going to discuss the course outline of the subject in this particular subject we have total five number of units the first one that is the introduction to metrology and linear and angular measurement in the first unit we are going to discuss the concept of the metrology what is standard sub standards the classification of the standards then the basic concept of the linear and angular measurement the linear and angular measurement we have discussed from the 11th standard physics and now we are going to improvise those particular concept with some advanced techniques as well in the second unit we are going to discuss the system of limits fits tolerance and gauging the system of limits fits and tolerance which is widely useful for the mass production era because we know that in the ancient time we are going to manufacture a single component and then we are going to assemble those particular single components only but nowadays we are going to manufacture a single part in a single unit and the another part in a another single unit somewhere in a pan india so if we have to come if we have to assemble both the parts we have to follow this particular concept say limit fits and tolerance the next that is a gauging gauging is widely useful for the checking the parts that is acceptable or rejectable in our range then the next portion of the chapter that is comparator comparator is widely useful for the mass production era in mass production we are not going to check each and every dimension of the given part what we are supposed to do we are just comparing our manufactured part with the predefined standard part and for this comparison process we are going to use comparators we have number of comparators in this particular subject we are going to discuss four mechanical comparators one pneumatic comparators and two optical comparators the next chapter that is chapter number 3 measurement of the screw thread and gears as you all know measurement of the screw thread and gears gears and screw thread are widely useful in the mechanical industries and for those particular components we have to perform some measuring techniques like parkinson gear tester we have designed a number of gauge for the screw thread measurement because the screw thread are produced in a mass production we are going to produce tons of screw in a single day in a mechanical mass production so if we have to check all these screw it is not a physically possible that we are going to check each and every screw one by one so what we are going to do we are going to take a random process and by taking the randomly a single screw thread and we are going to measure those particular profile by means of different different instruments the next unit or we can say the next chapter that is chapter number 4 measurement system and basic concept of measurement methods in which we are going to discuss the actual concept of the measuring system the generalized measurement system which is followed in the whole universe then the basic measuring methods the basic measuring instrument which we have designed and which we have developed for the different different measuring techniques the second portion of the same chapter that is the intermediate modifying and terminating devices 
in the internet modifying and terminating devices we are going to develop the advanced techniques which is directly correlate the mechanical system to the electrical system we are going to provide some kind of circuits which is directly useful to convert the mechanical output into the electrical output because nowadays we are using the digital displays and for using the digital display we have to we have to provide some kind of intermediate portions which directly convert the mechanical outcome to the electrical outcome and for that we are using the intermediate modifying and terminating devices which is directly convert the outcome for the mechanical outcome in the digital display we are using some kind of CROs and all that for the electrical output the third topic of the same unit unit number 4 that is the advances in the metrology Nowadays, as the technology advances, we have, number, we have done the number of advancement in the metrology sections. We are using CMM, the Coordinate Measuring Machine, which is the very advanced instrument for the measuring methods, which is directly used to draw the 3D output or we can say that to design the 3D object by using a single machine, which is known as a Coordinate Measuring Machine. We have also used the laser interferometry which is useful for the minor change in the vibrations and minor change in the frequency and by using the laser interferometry we can check the outcome. The last unit of the syllabus that is the chapter number 5 force, torque, pressure, strain and temperature measurement. In this particular chapter we are going to discuss each and every parameter say force we are going to discuss the measurement of the torque, torque measuring instrument, then measurement of the pressure and the pressure measuring instrument, strain and temperature measuring instrument. Each and every parameter we have designed the number of machines, the machine which we are using in the ancient time, the machine which we are using nowadays. And also we are going to discuss the advancement in the technology of the measurement of such parameters. Like we are going to discuss the prony, prony ring, prony gauge, then prony brake dynamometer, then uh, we are going to discuss the Pirani gauge, we are going to discuss the pyrometry as well. The pyrometry concept which is useful for the measurement of the temperature which is, which is having the range beyond the 500 degree Celsius and where the human concern is not physical. So we are going to discuss all these particular factors in the particular chapter, chapter number 5. Now we are going to discuss the percentage wise distribution of the whole syllabus. The whole syllabus is distributed in the total 5 minutes. The unit number 1 which contains 20% of the weightage in terms of GTU papers. The unit number 2 it contains another 20%. The unit number 3 that contains 17%. Unit number 4 contains 20% and unit number 5 contains 23%. So we can sum up that each and every unit contains the equal distribution among the syllabus. And each and every unit is very much important in terms of mechanical measurement as well as metrology section. Now we are going to discuss the basic importance of the chapter or we can say the basic importance of the subject why the subject is useful for the mechanical engineer so from the first figure you can check in the ancient time we are going to measure some kind of angle by taking the use of your hand like from the last finger you can check the 1 degree angle from the 3 finger you can check the 5 degree angle if you are making a palm close palm then you can measure the 10 degree angle if you are open your first and last finger then you can measure the 15 degree angle or we can say the 25 degree angle so by using these kind of postures we can measure the different different angles but that is a very basic concept and what we are not going to use this kind of concept nowadays so in this particular time we are using the number of measuring instrument the measuring instrument you can check on your screen we have designed a lot of side square and lot of protectors which is useful for the angle measurement the second image shows in the ancient time we are using a routine pan balance for the measurement of the mass but nowadays we have designed a digital mass digital weight meter which is directly provide you the exact dimensions or we can say the exact weight of the given component in the digital format the third image which shows a single person is going to assemble a single car which is useful in the product wise production in the batch production we can say in the routine production we are going to use this kind of concept but nowadays we are not going to prefer this kind of concept in this particular concept we are using a single piece production and we are using a single worker which is going to assemble all the car and which is a very time consuming process as well as it directly affect the quality of the output product so what we are going to use we are using a robotic arm in which the whole assembly has been set up and by using the proper measurement of all the parts we can assemble the whole car unit in a single setup so which is very much useful but 
it is only and only possible if we have provided a proper dimensions a proper dimension of all the parts if the dimensions are not provided properly then we cannot we cannot assemble the whole setup in a single line so to design a whole assembly line we have to provide a proper dimensions and to provide the proper dimension we have to measure all the dimensions properly and to measure all the dimension properly we have to design the subject mechanical measurement and metrology now we are going to discuss the applications of the subject the first figure that is the vernier caliper which is a very basic application you have already learned in the 11th or 12th physics which shows the we can measure the routine linear dimensions but it is widely useful for the measurement of all the linear measurement if you are going in a, any mechanical industry you are supposed to find this particular instrument in a very random manner so this is this is a very basic instrument which is very much useful for the mechanical industries for the linear measurements then the industry 4.0 that is a very wide concept nowadays which is running in the whole world that we are going to upgrading our new industries we are using nowadays we are using the industry 3.0 and we are going to upgrade our industries in the industry 4.0 conditions but to develop the industry 4.0 we have to provide the whole assembly line in the automation sectors so to take the mechanical sector to the automation sector we have to provide the proper dimensioning because because of the dimensioning proper dimensioning we can assemble the whole part by using the robotic arm because the robotic arm have no any artificial intelligence and if it cannot check what whether the dimension is proper or not it will not make a proper assembly so to perform the proper assembly line we have to provide the proper dimensions and just because of that we have to provide this particular subject mechanical measurement as well as a metrology the third image which shows the cmm we can say the coded measuring machine as i have already told you the coded measuring machine in which the whole platform is provided and whatever the object we have to design a 3d object or we have to design find the dimension of that particular object what i am supposed to do i will place those particular object on the working table then the instrument has been started the probe has been moving all around the Uh, proving all, our, uh, all around the object and we can measure the dimensions as well as we can find the dimension we can locate any point from the any origin point as well as we can design the whole object in a 3d image as well the fourth one the fourth image which shows the robotic assembly line which i have already discussed in the earlier section that uh, robotic assembly line is very much useful for the advancement in the mechanical industries because nowadays the mechanical industry is directly transformed into the automation sector and to design the proper automation sector we have to properly design the assembly line and for the designing the proper assembly line we have to design proper dimensioning okay so this is the basic application of the uh, subject we have very wide application of the subject this is very limited applications that we are going to discuss all these applications in the upcoming sections thank you